up guys so we just got the intake the stock intake put back on i have to go to a doctor's appointment and uh after we'll probably link up with ish as we will be installing hopefully his two-step same one as mine and 2 mb the brand is pretty cool i might do it for this car not too sure yet it's been some flame something like that <laughs> there's the 18. might have to catch a little roll with the 18. i don't know i legit the car is bone bone stock now like bone bone stock so i guess we will find out if he wants to catch the gap <laughs> legit the only thing it has now is just flex fuel and like exhaust if you want to count that as i'm headed there i want to talk about which car have i liked more the cobra or the 5.0 because at one time that was like oh which one am i gonna get you know and I ended up going for the Cobra. I think one of the main reasons why I went for the Cobra is because of how good of a deal it was at the time. And it was just too much to refuse. It was such low mileage too. I got the Cobra with 34,000 miles. And the 5.0 is such a great car. In the long run, I would definitely go for the Cobra for sure. But the 5.0 is an excellent car over, overall, I would say. I'd give the win to the 5.0 just in terms of driving it every day and how it's so comfortable it is. Don't get me wrong. I still have a great time in the Cobra. If I have that different transmission, I'll be set in stone. I'll be happy. I'll be satisfied. And then from there, just more and more power <laughs> because power never ends, you know? In terms of driving every day in the 5.0 for sure. They, like I said, they legit both have pros and cons to the point where it makes it really difficult to choose one. Like when that supercharger one kicks in, it's like, you just, you hear it, man. It just, the Cobras are just like a raw feeling type of car, you know? And you don't really get that with the 5.0. It is super comfortable, easy to shift, like I said. You know, to have both, uh, the best of both worlds is really what I would do if, if you guys could. The Cobra is a 4.6 liter, if you guys should already know that. It's a four valve motor, definitely ahead of its time for sure in 2003, 2004. And the Coyotes are just, they, they are a superior motor. They're higher compression. Uh, the Cobras are lower compression, hence why they can take a lot of boost for the most part. The 5.0 has always sounded really good in my opinion. The Supercharger one makes up for it in the Cobra, I think. Because I, I really love the way the 5.0 sound. I've always been a big fan. They sound so exotic sounding to me. It's just like, you can't beat that sound, dude. Like when you hear a 5.0, you hear a 5.0. It's it's hard to not to mistake a 5.0, you know. They sound so different in my opinion. And they rev out super high. Which one would I pick? It's legit super hard to say because in terms of overall car, I give it to the 5.0, but Cobra any day because of how, it's like, I think it's like wine, you know, it's kind of gonna, over time it's gonna age well, it's gonna taste better, that's how I think it's gonna be. The 5.0, you're, you're always gonna see a 5.0 on the street because they're so acquirable, I guess. But like I said, the 5.0 is such a great car in terms like if you really just need a daily car, like you could daily this easy. And manual too, for sure. Now if we're getting a, a 10 speed, I would definitely maybe go for the 10 speed just cause those things are nasty, dude. They just keep pulling. The gear ratio is perfect for top speed. And But if you wanna have fun and drive a manual, go ahead, you know. But if you are, like I said, getting an 18 or 19, I would definitely go with the 10 speed, but that's just, that just me. The MT82 is running cool for the most part. You know, they are kind of fragile, I heard. Oh, we got the 18 behind us, it came up. Looks pretty cool. Like I said, I was just talking about the 18. So it looks like it's a performance pack. No plates, what the hell? Man's, man's is pulling a fast one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that clean. That, I love the way the 18 and 19s look, especially from the rear. I think that from the front, they need a little work, I would say for sure, in terms of how they look, because they kind of look a little funky in the front, in my opinion. It's 102, that's how hot it is, it says. The 18s and 19s are so badass though. The motors are just so crazy fast. The only thing I heard of is just reliability issues and engine tick, like my buddy Rush's um, 5.0 has a little, little tick sound and it's uh, there is something wrong with it, I think. But I will be getting my hands hopefully on a tune and tuner soon, hopefully for the 5.0. 
yeah she's running cool and I feel like it's a 10 speed I guess we'll see but I'm almost there at my doctor's appointment and so we will talk to you guys after but that will conclude this segment of which car I would pick 5.0 or the Cobra legit I don't have an answer they're just both good cars the Cobra legit hasn't had really any problems reliability wise aside from like normal stuff like that hose was just stupid if you guys remember from the channel there was a hose issue which it was a poor design on Ford's end because there was a bolt that was just hitting this this hose and it was part of the heater core and uh, you know it is what it is but uh, aside from like little stuff the Cobra legit hasn't had any major big issues maybe you know clutch you know I can't really complain about that or nothing so uh, yeah we'll talk to you guys in a little bit